I'm either throwing in box braids, um, feed-in braids, or some Sangalese twists. <laughs> Hey beautiful people, it's your girl Val and in today's video I'm going to share my testimony on how God changed my appearance. So if you're interested in hearing my testimony, please stick around and don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. Okay, so I don't want to make the video too long, so I do have my notes with me. So if you see me looking down, I'm just simply just looking down at my phone. So I guess I can just start by dating back to 2014. Um, in 2014, I walked away from a toxic, unhealthy relationship, and when I walked away from that relationship, I was feeling broken, um, I felt like I didn't know who I was, I felt like I lost my identity, right? And I spent about five to six years giving somebody my all and giving somebody all of my attention, my body. So when I walked away from that relationship, I was lost, okay? I was in a dark place mentally. Um, I started dealing with anxiety, depression, social anxiety. Um, I was just in a dark place mentally. So one day I decided that, okay, I'm going to start taking care of myself. And what I did, I started going to the gym. Um, I was insecure about my body. I didn't like the way that I looked. So I started going to the gym, right? And when I was consistent with the gym, I started seeing results. My body started changing. I started loving the results. Um, and I just kept going. And during that time, my brother invited me to go to his church. And I went. And one of the things that I noticed, I noticed that the women were um, wearing head coverings. And they had dresses on. They had skirts. So, you know, I thought it was interesting. So I started to learn more about how women should dress, how women should adorn themselves. And, you know, I was interested. I was, you know definitely learning something new so I started doing my own research and you know just asking questions why do the women have to dress like this why do we have to wear dresses um, and just trying to find out how God wants his daughters to look so during that time you know I'm learning and God is working on me he's changing my heart he's changing my mindset on certain things and at this time of course I'm in the world so I'm wearing pants still I'm still wearing jeans still wearing makeup and the fake hair and um you know God is he was just working on me and during this time I was still doing my fitness thing I fell in love with fitness to the point where I decided that I wanted to be a personal trainer so I started studying to become a trainer and being in the fitness world your body is kind of like your product right you have to post um, pictures before and after pictures progress pictures so that's what I was doing on my Instagram page and my Instagram page had a lot of like pictures of me you know revealing my body showing my progress my results and one day I just heard this voice loud and clear say you need to delete this page delete this page right now <laughs> okay and I heard the voice but of course you know some of us do this we ignore the holy spirit right the holy spirit tells us to do something and we ignore it and that's what i did i ignored it for a while and you know i still kept my page and the more i started you know going to church and um hearing god's word and allowing god to work on me and eventually i ended up giving my life to christ right i gave my life to christ so I made the decision that, okay, you know what, I don't want to be in the world anymore. Um, I'm going to, you know, walk with God. I'm going to do it his way. So I still had this page up, right? And again, I heard the voice say, you need to delete this page. And I'm like, okay, you know what? I know this is going to be very hard for me. You know, I worked hard for my body, you know, I, I went to the gym, I worked hard for these results, you know, I want people to see these results. And it wasn't just about me showing my body, it was more so me helping to encourage other people and showing other people that, hey, you know, if I can change my body, if I can get results, you can get results too. So, um, I was hurt, but eventually I did delete the page and I started a more modest page. And I started posting pictures of me, you know, dressed modestly and classy with dresses on and skirts on. 
So if anybody who knew me with my fitness page and then saw my modest page, they probably would have thought like, okay, this is two complete different people, right? It's like night and day. And um, so yeah, it was just a complete change. God was just working on me internally and externally. Just going back to like the whole like makeup and like fake hair. I had no problem with letting go of makeup because even in the world, I never wore makeup like that. I would only wear makeup um, when I'm going to like an event or like a special occasion. So makeup wasn't really something that was really hard for me to give up. And on top of that, the doctrine of the church that I was going to um, was no makeup, fake hair, um, jewelry, and women had to wear dresses and skirts. So that was the doctrine. I didn't understand it at first. But the more I started learning about it, I understood why um, the doctrine was the way that it was. And honestly, I, I wasn't good at putting on makeup. When I was in the world, when I saw women like putting makeup on, women who like can blend and do all that stuff, I applaud those women, okay? Because God did not bless me with those hands. And judging off the, the thumbnail, <laughs> you can see how bad my makeup looked, okay? So... Giving up makeup wasn't really that hard for me to do. Um, giving up the weave, the wigs, the braids, the box braids. Um, that was a little, it was a little struggle. Box braids was my thing. When I'm going on vacation, I'm either throwing in box braids, um, feed-in braids, or some Sangalese twists. Back then, I don't know if Sangalese twists are still a thing, but back then, those were my Thing, okay especially box braids I lo loved box braids I would get box braids all the way down to my waist and um, so that was a little tough for me to give up but the last time I had box braids when I took those braids out my edges were thinning okay and I I was petrified I started balding around my edges and I was scared I thought my edges was never gonna grow back so after the last time I wore box braids, I'm like, that's it. I'm not I'm not putting box braids anymore. <laughs> I'm good. So I just started taking care of my natural hair. I started learning how to do my natural hair. And that's when the natural hair community on YouTube was huge. So I watched tons of videos, bought plenty of products, and I just figured out how to do my own hair. Um, as far as like my skin, I figured out, okay, how to take care of my skin, what products to buy for my skin so that way I don't need to rely on makeup. Um, what products do I need for my hair so that way I don't need to rely on weave or, you know, um, box braids and stuff like that. So God just really like, he started changing me. He started working on me. And not only that, he just showed me that I'm beautiful. I don't need to wear any artificial things to make me more beautiful right he created us in his image he created you beautifully right he knew you before you was you was in your mother's womb so i don't need to rely on those things to feel beautiful and that's one of the things that god taught me like i don't need to have those things to feel beautiful i don't need to put on red lips to make my lips more beautiful i don't need to put on um pink eyeshadow to make my eyes pop right um god already made me beautiful so I just started to love myself more and I'm not saying that people who wear those things don't love themselves but for me I'm just speaking for me I just prefer to be my natural self I prefer to wear my natural hair I prefer to have my natural face um, and truthfully the last time I wore makeup I just felt like I just didn't like the feeling of the makeup on my face it felt heavy um, I, I just didn't like it <laughs> that's just that's just me okay i'm not condemning anybody who wears those things um but yeah god just taught me self-love he created us beautifully and i just want to encourage women out there who wear makeup who wear weave who may feel like they're not beautiful right or if you're dealing with some type of skin issue i encourage you maybe um, go see a dermatologist or maybe figure out different ways that you can take care of your skin or your hair. And I know it's a case by case thing. I know people have different lives, people are busy, but I just want to encourage you if you're somebody who's struggling with 
letting those things go or feel like you're hiding behind those things or you're hiding your insecurities i don't think this is just my opinion i don't think by you putting on makeup or weave to hide your insecurities is gonna help your insecurities if that makes sense if you're just hiding it that's not gonna help so i think you have to get down to the root so that way you can fix it or at least try to fix it so that way you can feel better about yourself so for example if you're somebody who hates their hair or you feel like your hair you know you just hate the texture or whatever the case may be maybe try googling or go on youtube and see somebody that and search somebody that may have a similar texture as yours see what they're doing with their hair how they're taking care of their hair some of the products that you can use um, for your hair type and same same goes for your skin maybe if somebody has acne maybe you can try different products that may work for your face or maybe um, um, changing your diet or eating certain foods that may help your skin so those are just some of the things that I encourage you to do and again I'm not condemning anybody that wears makeup or where wears weave um, but I do want to say you don't want to rely on those things you don't want to make an idol out of those things to the point where you don't know who you are if you don't have those things on and I think that's when it becomes a problem because I've heard women and I've seen women who say they can't even leave the house without makeup on they can't even leave the house without having a wig on or fake hair on and I think when it's that extreme I feel like that's when it becomes a problem when you can't leave the house without something and you rely on that thing so much then you might want to do some reevaluation because that's a problem. One thing that I used to do that I do not recommend is comparing yourself to people on social media. And back then I used to do that a lot, okay? I used to compare myself to other women on social media. I used to dress how they were dressing or, you know, do my hair how they were doing their hair. And listen, do not compare yourself to people on social media. Don't try to be like anybody else. Just be you be who you are unapologetically right okay people are not going to post every single detail of their lives so you don't know what's going on behind the scenes so don't compare yourself to people on social media because what that does that really just brings a lot of insecurities um self-doubt discouragement sometimes even depression so don't compare yourself to people on social media and I just want to say this modesty journey isn't easy and to the modest women out there um, you know sometimes you may have your days where you may feel like you don't want to put on a skirt or a dress and sometimes it can be hard where you may be in a, in a setting where you're the only one who has on a dress or a skirt or you're the only one who's dressed a certain way and everybody else looks you know a certain way so that can be a struggle that can be hard at times and I just want to say don't give up um, continue to be modest continue to stand out and be separate from the world you know no matter what anybody has to say people may look at you funny or people may say um, why do you dress like that or why do you only wear skirts why do you only wear dresses and just simply just just tell them um, some people are genuinely curious and some people they may say because they think you're weird or whatever <laughs> so um, don't feel bad continue to be modest even if the journey may seem like it's hard um, you don't have to conform to the world you don't have to conform to how the world looks or how the world wants you to look you don't have to dress a certain way to attract attention God made you beautiful you don't have to um, do all these things for the attention of others just please God first that's all I can say please him first I hope you guys were blessed by this video. Don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!